want to build games with Unreal Engine and learn real C++ skills. In this video, we're starting from zero, installing Visual Studio, setting up Unreal Engine 5, creating your first C++ project, and even converting a Blueprint project to C++. If you always wanted to go beyond Blueprints and get into the real game programming, this is the place to begin. But before we start, make sure to hit like if you find this useful and subscribe to keep up with the full Unreal C++ series coming next. And if you are serious about becoming a game creator, check out the Game Creator Accelerator. It's not just about Unreal. It's about a building a real presence in the industry for a successful career, no matter the market conditions. We offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship, access to courses, Q&A sessions, and strategies to get you noticed, find job opportunities, and build your independence path, all with lifetime access, including the mentorship. Yes, lifetime access mentorship. And the program is also designed to work after your 9 to 5 office hours. If you are passionate about video games and you want to achieve your dream of creating them in a sustainable way, visit Woolen.com or email me directly at Tony at Woolen.com. What are you waiting for? Now, let's get started. Let's start by installing the Visual Studio. For you to know, the Visual Studio is an integrated development environment. It's an ID. This is basically a tool that we use to create, to debug, to compile the code that we will use in our project for Unreal. C++, though, is a language that you can use for multiple things. But in this case, in this scenario, we're going to use it specifically for Unreal. Using Google, I will search for... Visual Studio and pick the option that says Visual Studio IDE and Code Editor for Software and Developers. Select Download Visual Studio and then you will start the downloading for the setup. Double click the downloaded file to start the installation. Continue and follow the instructions. In my case, I am presented with a new version of Visual Studio and for that reason, I have the button here that says Update. Your case could be something similar, but that will encourage you to make the installation. I am going to select Update. Now be patient during the installation process and I'll get back when I finished. When installation is finished, you will be prompted with a message like this one. OK. Now click in this button that says Modify. Move down and be sure that you have the desktop development with C++ selected, this one here, and that you also have the game development with C++. Look that this is in particular used for Unreal, different to this one that it is, it is used for Unity. To the right, go to the game development with C++ and confirm that you have the C++ profiling tool the C++ address sanitizer, the Windows, depending on the version of your Windows SDK, the IntelliCode, and the Visual Studio for Unreal Engine. Once you check all the components that you need and you're sure that you have all the components, you will probably have an option different to mind of installing while downloading. But the goal is that you install also these components that you will need for developing in C++ and Unreal. Once you finish, close this window. Back on Google, let's look for Unreal Engine. Pick the option of Unreal Engine, the most powerful real-time 3D creation tool. To the right, click on this button of Download. Then, click on Download Launcher and wait for the downloading of the executable. Once downloaded, open the file, and it will take you through the steps to install the Epic Games Launcher. You need the Epic Games Launcher not only for playing games on Epic Games, but also to work with Unreal. I'm going to cancel in my case because I already have installed the Epic Games Launcher. Now let's open the Epic Games Launcher. Look in search for Epic Games Launcher. Click on it. 
and you will be prompted by default usually in the e store section which is where you can play the games using the platform of epic games click on the left where it says on real engine in the first window which is called the news you have a lot of new content related to the platform that it is usual to read because you can always be updated about all the improvements for the platform and the new options that are presenting for you. But we want to check this tag called library. Click on library and here you have the versions of Unreal that at this moment I have installed. And also on the bottom I have the projects, my projects that I'm currently working on Unreal. In the engine versions at this moment I have 5.3 5254, 427 or 4.27, and 554. If you want to install the new version of Unreal, click on this plus button, a new icon will open, and then you can select the version that you wish to install. Of course, the list does not include the ones that you already have installed. I'm going to remove this one. If you want also to update a version of your current installation, let's say I'm going to use the 544 and I want to check the components that I have installed. Let's say that I want to check the 544 and I want to check the components I have installed for this version. Click on this arrow down and select the option of options. And here you can see other details related to this version of Unreal. In my case, I don't want to develop for Android, iOS, Linux, etc. or TV OS. So I don't need to use this space because these are versions that I don't need, that I don't work with. If you want to install another one, let's say Android, then click on Android and then apply. For what is our purpose? We need the starter content of course, the core contents, starter contents, templates, and engine source. Apply, or in my case, I can just close the window. The installation of a new version of Unreal takes time. So just be patient because there are a lot of gigabytes. In the next step, we are going to launch one of these versions of Unreal. In my case, I'm going to pick the 544, though you can pick whatever you want. Wait for the editor to initialize. This is going to take you some seconds, depending on your computer. When finished, you will be prompted with these uh, windows for you to pick the kind of project that you want to create. In our case, we'll select the games and the first person. We want to create a first person shooter. To the right, you have the options of blueprints or C++. If you want to create a project that only includes blueprints and the code, let's call it, the code is handled in the blueprints, then you just have to pick this one. But if you want to create, as in our case, a project that includes C++, then click this button. I will add the starter content, not the ray tracing. And now let's assign a name for our project. Let's call this project My Shooter FPS. This is the name of the project. The project location is where you want to save the project. I have a default folder here, but you can also click on this button to browse and define other folder where you want your project to be saved. Once you finish, you click create. If you want to build another kind of project, you can start from blank projects, third person, top down, vehicle, virtual reality, and handled AR. The platform that I want to use is desktop. Well, I honestly, I recommend only desktop to create video games, but you also have the options of mobile and the quality. I always use the default, which is maximum. Now click create. And again, give some time to the engine to start your new project. When your project is started, you will be prompted with this application, which is the Unreal application. When you create a project in C++, to the left, you have uh, this section in the content browser where there are different folders that are part of a master folder called content. But also you will have a new folder that is called the C++ classes. And this is where all the classes that we are going to program directly in C++ will belong. 
if your project was of the type only Blueprint and no C++, this folder won't be available for you. Now, let's consider at this moment that the project, that the Unreal project is not associated with Visual Studio. In that case, go to Edit, Editor Preferences, look for General, Source Code, and the Source Code Editor, select Visual Studio 2022, depending on the version of the source code that you have. Now I'm going to restart my project because I was using another version of Visual Studio. And let's wait again. If the Visual Studio do not prompt automatically in front of your project as well, you can also open it by going to the corresponding folder in the content browser, all, looking for C++ classes and my shooter FPS, and select any of these files. Let's select, for example, my shooter FPS. Double click. And here I am presented with my project, the section of my project uh, related to the code in C++. And here is my class, my shooter FPS character, and my shooter FPS character .h. To the right, we have the Solution Explorer where we can see all the content that is part of this project, of this video game that we are creating. For the moment, I'm going to close this window. And if we get back to our Unreal application, you can click on this play button and you will be able to play as a first shooter. Escape to stop the game. For the next step, I want to close this project. And let's say that we are going to create a new project which will be of type blueprint, not C++, but type blueprint. And let's see how we can transform that project into a C++ project. As we did a second ago, select games, select the first person, and in this case, click only the blueprint, not the C++. We're going to create a blueprint project. And let's call this one my shooter FPS BP for blueprint and create. If for any reason you can't see the windows related to the content browser, you can go to Windows Content Browser and select the first one. Now drag this one to the bottom and here you have it. Now you can see that we have the content folder, but we don't have the corresponding to the C++ coding, to the C++ libraries that we are going to use to program our game. The reason is because this project was created as a Blueprint project, not a C++ project. To transform it into a C++ project, go first to Tool and select New C++ Class. In the Class Wizard, select any of the base classes. It can be even known character, a pawn. But in this case, I'm going to create a new character. So I'm going to take the character, select Next, and now we're going to create a new space in your project to add this new C++ file. I will call this one, huh, yeah, my character. I think that that game is, that that name is perfect in this case, but you can rename it as you wish. And finally, click on create class. I don't use to change this path because I want to use the same structure that Unreal uses by default based on the location of my project. Let's click Create Class. When the class is created, you will be prompted with this message. Don't panic, that's correct. Project now includes sources. Please close the editor and build from your IDE. Click OK. Finally, successfully we, we added successfully the My Character new class. However, you must recompile the mature, well, my, the entire name of this project before it will appear in the content browser. Would you like to edit your code now? And in this case, we're going to click yes. Now the Visual Studio will be presented to you because this is where we're going to edit our code. As we saw a moment ago with the other project, we have the structure here. And now I have my character class ready to be coded by me. Now I can close this, but 
you can see that we still don't have the C++ libraries here. For that, close the project, look for the project again in the library on the Epic Game Launcher, which is this one, my shooter FPS BP, and now open it again. You will be prompted with this question, which is the following modules are missing or built with a different engine version, which is this one. Would you like to rebuild them? And in this case, you're going to say yes, because now we added the modules related to the C++ section. Once the project is loaded, now you can see the C++ classes. And in fact, you can see the My Character class that we created a second ago. At this moment, you can continue working with this project that was defined originally as a project in Blueprint, and now we can use also C++. If this video added value to you, like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss tips and tutorials on Real Engine and how to build your successful career in video games. Until next time, keep creating, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep dreaming big. I'll see you soon, my fellow creators.